Hey guys, it's Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be coming to you with a product review and it's going to be on Africa's Best. I love this company and they're also um, sold at the beauty supply store and your local family dollar. So first, I just want to say, do you guys see my lipstick? It's so pretty. Like, I'm not really a fan of dark lipstick because for some reason, every time I put on dark lipstick, I get it on my teeth. And do I have any? <laughs> I hate it. I don't know what it is about dark lipstick. So if you know what it is about dark lipstick, without doing like the little swab trick and getting all the gunk that would be on your lips if you don't do that, please let me know what is it about dark lipstick. Anyway, this one is from Ruby Kisses. I got it from the my local beauty supply store and it was a dollar, ladies. Looks like this. And it's really deep and rich in color. It's very pigmented and it's moisturizing on your lip. It reminds me of something that I have in my collection. I just didn't figure out which one yet. But at first I thought it was a duplicate for Max Diva. And for some reason, it looks like it. But it's a little bit darker to me. But anyway, I returned Diva because I didn't really like it. It was a matte finish, which I was looking for, but it was too drying to my lips. And for like every couple hours, it was like cracking and crinkly. And oh my God, I hate that. If you've seen my past videos, I do not like chapped lipsticks and chapped lips and all of that mess because it looks terrible. So yeah, go to your local beauty supply store and get you some Ruby Kisses because it's only a dollar and you will not regret it. And if you like my dark licks, comment below because I just want to know if I look crazy or not. <laughs> so yeah, the pro product I'm going to review first is this Organics Maximum Strength Extra Virgin Olive Oil Moisturizing Hair Growth. It is a tongue tie, I know. The title is so long, but it has shea butter, olive oil, and oats, and soy protein. And this is really good for all my curly hair sisters, natural hair, and... I use this in the summertime or in the spring, maybe from like May all the way up until ending of August when I do my curly hair for that length of time. And I'll just come out the shower and I comb out my hair. Then I use this and I put it in each side of my hair and I squinch it up like that. And my curls are fabulous. And I feel like that's what all, this is what also helped my hair grow because I kept locking in the moisture every time with it. And I feel like once your hair is wet, it works really well and it dries in together. I used to just throw my hair up in a pineapple method and I was good to go. I love this stuff and now this is the empty bottle so I will be repurchasing. The next one is Texture My Way Curl Keeper and I'm not really a fan of this one but I got it because my Mac Maximum Strength Extra Virgin Olive Oil was sold out at the time. So I used this and to compare this to the first one, this one is a little bit heavier and this is why I wasn't a fan of it because it felt like my curls was weighing down and it wasn't as flowy. Because when you wear your hair curly, like wet curly, you don't want it to look dry and damaged looking. You still want it to have that bounce and when the wind blow, you still want it to move like. <laughs> because this, it gave me that but it did like it hold my curls because of the thick consistency but I like the one with the olive oil in it because my hair was still flowy and it's a lightweight moisture but this one is also pretty good too and it just says here organic conditioning to mega moisturize and lock in long lasting silky curls or waves so if your hair is like really thick or whatever the case is and your hair is really dry this probably will be really good for you because you want to keep your curls tightly together but moisturized but if your hair is not too thick and you just want to add a little bit of moisture and to have your hair still flowy and curly but not stiff and dry looking, then I would recommend the Olive Oil Moisturizing Growth Conditioner because this one helps your hair grow and it gives you the moisture. This one, the texture, curl keeping, it doesn't say anything about growth, but I'm, I'm assuming maybe it should help. I don't know. <laughs> so, but my last favorite, which I've been using recently, is the Rinse Out leave-in deep conditioner by Africa's Best and this one is probably an old brand but I'm not too sure because the other one says new on it but whatever anyway this one says deep penetrating hair therapy helps prevent dryness split ends and breakage and that honey is what I've been going through because in this winter 
my hair has been getting dry and nasty and now if you can see on my ends I don't know if you can see it but it looks shiny and is not as like crazy so to use this the first time I used it the first time I used this was um, as a deep conditioner and then when I came out the shower I used a little bit as a leave-in I blow dry my hair then I flat ironed it and after blow drying it it was terrible like I felt like my hair was dry and it was just brittle and I don't know what it was but I know that I use this and usually I don't use creams as a leave-in that's how come maybe my hair was like oh no honey what did you just do to me <laughs> so the next time at first I was like you know what I'm not even gonna do it because I was just gonna give up but then I was like no I'm gonna try it again and use it a little bit differently so you know what I did I used it at night time I used some of this in a bowl and I mixed it with my oils which consists of carrot oil um, castor oil olive oil and jojoba oil I did that and I left it in my hair overnight and then when I woke up in the morning I took off my shower cap and I rinsed it out and honey it was so soft and like once I took off my shower cap it was just like it was just flowing like it just fell down and it was wet still but it felt so good when I, I kid you not it felt so good like even my mother was like what did you do your hair looks so silky she was like put some of that in my hair put some of that I need that I need that <laughs> so yeah I be doing my mom hair too but uh she's a mess but yeah I put this in at nighttime and it worked really good for me and so far I did my hair earlier this week on like Monday this video will be up like tomorrow on um, maybe maybe even tonight I might do it today is Thursday depending on how everything works out but yeah I did my hair Monday and I didn't put anything in my hair yet and you can see that it has a shine and I deep condition I did my normal routine if you guys are interested in my updated shampoo that I've been using in my updated routine because I do a little bit differently from last year when I first started taking care of my hair better so just tell me below you're interested in that and I will get on that next video for you so this was my review of all three products and I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to go and get that Ruby Kisses lipstick Mwah. comment rate and subscribe I'll talk to you later bye girls